Welcome to today's video. We are at the Sarah P. Duke Gardens at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. It's a day trip. I go back into my courses tomorrow, but we wanted to have a fun family day and kind of like a throwback. Bless you. God bless you. And kind of like a throwback Sunday. Uh, anyone else remember being here? Um, do you remember it apart from the videos that we have on our YouTube channel? Um, or do you remember it because we have videos that you can watch? Uh, I never watched any of the videos, but okay. I do have memories. That's pretty impressive, pretty impressive. See, we have a video up of the last time we came here when Caleb was five, Logan was two, and Timmy was only one month old. We're gonna put a card in the upper right-hand corner so you can watch that video, but I'm gonna edit in some cute footage from those videos into, into this video so you can kind of get nostalgic with us. So again, these gardens are beautiful. There's tons to do here, so we're gonna get going. Okay, Zoo family, this is absolutely my favorite part of Sarah P. Gardens. It's beautiful here. Gorgeous. Like, it rivals the Biltmore property, really. Mm -hmm. Truly, truly beautiful gardens. It'll be even more beautiful when we are on that bank over there looking back this way. Yeah. That's the maybe the best view. Just gorgeous. There's actually koi in this pond, guys. Huh? Koi fish. Back away from the edge. Yeah, see the fish? Whoa. Ducky. Look at the big one over there. Did you see that white one? Yeah. I think the duck can make it. Here comes the duck, guys. If you live anywhere in the vicinity and you've never been to Sarah P. Duke Gardens, this is the place. It's beautiful. It's definitely worth a day trip. I just covered What's this out here? What's this out here, guys? A lawn? Well, I don't think a playground, but it is a wide open space where you can go run. And yeah. How about that? Yeah. How about how about ten minutes of tag? Yeah. Yes. Ten minutes of tag. Yes. <laughs> there they go. Oh, he's gonna get her. Oh, he's gonna get her. Oh no, he didn't get her. He's gonna target Timmy. <laughs> he's gonna get. Timmy. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at the people doing like. 
up yoga up on the hill and then our kids are like are they doing yoga? it looks like yoga you know what it looks like it looks like that corporate yoga yeah. that you come out with your you know your business group and you just breathe on a hill anyways they're trying to relax and our kids are out here screaming running around oh look at that little guy oh my goodness we're gonna have two little little ones soon be careful for the little ones oh Katie let's see if Katie can get Caleb oh she's gonna get him she's gonna try and cut him off oh she gave up they look like they're already done they look like they're already dead they have been holding that position for a while now what are they doing something tells me it'd be inappropriate to walk up and ask if you know what they're doing Tell me in the comments, I want to know. It does, it's not yoga, they're not moving. They're just literally standing with their arms up like this and breathing. Meditating maybe. Oh, meditation? Meditation maybe? That's a long time that's to hold that pose. That's a long time to meditate, but maybe that's the point. We never sit still long enough. <laughs> really? It's such a foreign concept to us. We're like, what is this thing? Oh, there thing? you go, they finally moved. Did they move? Oh, they lowered their hands. We're, we're obsessed with it because it's so foreign to us. We're so on the go and our kids are so on the go we never sit still. Even when we sit still, we're vlogging. So what are they doing? Tell me in the comments. We're gonna see if Mike can feel movement or at least Every, the baby shifting. You know from the last video, I think it was the last video, we were trying to feel the baby the and I was in Target sitting here waiting, hoping I could feel the babies. Okay, I've got two, two hands on tummy. No, don't feel anything yet. Still waiting. Are you excited to feel them when you can finally feel them? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it might not be today. I'm not feeling anything. Okay. Nothing today. Darn, I keep getting my hopes up. It's so amazing when a dad can feel the baby's kick because we are so removed. We don't carry them. We can't feel them. We don't feel an emotional bond with them until later. And women get that very soon because they can feel the movement and they start to, you know, Melanie rubs her belly all the time and Break already out. already talks to them and, and is forming a relationship with them. And for a man... <gasps> is that it? Uh-huh. I felt them. It was a... And, told you. and you know it was real because it wasn't a poke. It was a wave. I felt our babies. It was probably baby B, notorious for moving more than baby A. Sometimes it feels like a wave coming across the tummy rather than just straight up Yay. pokes. Yay, and it's at Duke. How ah, cool, I felt them. That's amazing, that's so cool. Like I was saying earlier, we don't, men don't start to form the bond with the kids till later. And I really didn't form one with Caleb till he was born. And then I think I was more active with Logan and Timmy about talking to them when they were in her belly. Um, you know, but it's, it's, it's fun to get those little things because that's all we men get, the little <laughs> kicks. And then we talk to them once we know that they have ears. And, uh... <laughs> you don't think that they can feel... We had this we had this debate and maybe maybe there's a nurse or a doctor out there uh, when they don't have ears when your baby in utero doesn't have ears can they feel vibration and sense talking you know how we hear talking well they can they sense talking Melanie says yes I am doubtful <laughs> You're doubtful that they even know that I, the two of them exist in the same same area. I, I I tend to be very logical about it, and I'm like, okay, if they don't have ears, they don't hear. Period. Melanie's like, yeah, but maybe they sense vibration. Maybe they can feel me, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe. But I don't know when nerve endings exist. See, I'm really logical. I'm like, okay, well, tell me about nerve endings. No, I just want weeks. They can totally do it. <laughs> see, how, see the difference between two people, logical and just one who thinks and one who feels and how both are great and just Did different. Did you just say I don't think? I know, I know, and I, I know more than I said I don't feel. <laughs> oh boy, okay. I we can't believe you feel the baby, yay. That's yay. awesome. I'm really happy about that. So we're going to round up our kids and keep going. You tuck it out? Was that fun? <laughs> oh, baloney. You were having a blast. You have fun with that little boy out there? Isn't he nice? He's so cute. Look at this gorgeous field. Gorgeous. In the right time of year, in the spring, there's wildflowers here. And there is this awesome little pavilion they built here. It looks like you would have like a little wedding here. And imagine the backdrop of your wedding being just this field with wildflowers. 
kind of amazing. This section of the park is called the Asian Gardens. And there's a nice little lake. I know. And there's some duckies here. We're not going to throw stuff at them, Logan. Look at the little turtles. Two turtles over here. I see it right there. Yeah. Well, actually, there was um, at, at PE at our school, last day of school, we went to PE. And then we saw a turtle and mama turtle and baby turtle. Whoa, that's cool. A tortoise, you mean? That's cool. There's one way over there, too. Swimming towards us. Yeah, there's one right there. I want to be friends. I doubt that's what he's saying. And we got some ducks over here coming toward us, too. Aren't they pretty? Those are males, right? I think so, Katie. Daddy! Oh, wow, Katie. Yeah, you're right. Look at that one, Mom. Do you see the one Katie's pointing at? What are those called? spiky hair. These are really unique. Yeah, wow. Very cool. These guys are coming right up to us, aren't they? Yeah. Do they think did they think we're gonna feed them? Do they think we're gonna feed them? Oh, poor that one can't speak. Can't speak? Why poor that it, one can't speak. Why is it losing tail? <laughs> I don't know. He's making noises. I wonder if he is having trouble making noises. He comes right up to you. He thinks we're gonna feed him. I guarantee you they think that we're gonna feed him. Oh he's unique too. Look at him. Spike is getting ready to do its first swim. Oh look, good job, buddy. <laughs> okay guys oh, yes, okay guys come on onward to the next place what'd you all find one, but I can't. It's, it's pretty mm. yeah we don't want to pick it we don't want to pick them but they are pretty Wait, these are yeah these are hydrangeas pink so, hydrangeas we had a hat yeah we had no <laughs> give it a hat huh? you guys made no we um no, no like when you have a wedding where you two people get married that's right. You pick the flowers you want, and oh, we had hydrangeas, like purple this and blue. This is the prison where they put bad children. Um. <laughs> no one, no one even came close to believing me. Looks like they are set up for a wedding, maybe. Wait, what? Looks like it's gonna be a wedding. What? A wedding <laughs> when two people get married. <laughs> yeah, some pe not everyone gets married in churches. Sometimes people get married out. Side and things like that. Is that weird? Is that weird? No, we're not gonna watch them. No. Yeah, we're just gonna stand right here and just video the, the whole thing. <laughs> Katie's like, no, that's awkward. We're walking away. Do you think it's weird to get married outside, Katie? Yeah. I could sing. Here comes the Katie, why do you think it's weird to get married outside? Because you'll sweat? Yeah. Very practical. Thinking practical. Whatever's cheapest, right, Katie? Whatever whatever wedding option is absolutely cheapest, right? Yeah. Yeah, that a girl. <laughs> Mom's shaking her head. <laughs> I'm indoctrinating her now. Oh man, this place is beautiful. I can remember filming right here with the little boys running around. Beautiful, beautiful day. Wait, we searched everywhere? Did yeah, we the walked the whole thing? place. Oh, wow. Wow. We did, we walked the whole place. Yeah. Great job, everybody. Whoa. Yeah, Can look at that. Way? Think we can go inside? Yeah, Wanna try going inside? Let's see if we can. How have I, the non-Duke fan, been in the cathedral and you haven't? How, when did you do that? I when we came on a youth trip, we stayed in host homes and my friends and I, our host, took us to campus no. here and uh, took us right in. Yeah, I, I, we may be able to go in. Let's go see. Who knows? Yes. Who knows? Oh, no promises. No promises, but we'll see. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in. Uh, there's a lot of construction all around it, and there's no parking. We don't even know how many miles away or if we like, we'll get to park like a half a mile away or something like that. And we've been out in the sun a lot, so we might have to wait till another time. When there's no <laughs> next time when there's eight of us and it's easier gosh yeah every time we say next time we have to think now next time when it's even more difficult so something to think about there
So it's later in the day, we're getting dinner at Mellow Mushroom and uh, I have class tomorrow so we're gonna try and get back early so I can edit some video and do a, maybe a little bit of studying, although I really don't need to study that much. I'm really prepared for this class. I'm really looking forward to it actually. And um, and then the NBA Finals, game two are on. I'm, I mean, Toronto really pulled it out. All of our Canadian Zoo family members, I bet you're just loving it. So it's gonna be a good game tonight. Okay, dokie, they got a table ready for us. I got my phone. Okay, we're lucky. Only one table left for a party of six. I don't know what we're gonna do when we're eight. We're not gonna be able to go anywhere. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go anywhere. Yeah. Timmy has started doing this thing where every time we sit down to a meal, we'll say, Timmy, what do you want? And your answer is... Mama <laughs> No. No. <laughs> Your answer is always, I'll have whatever. Yeah, I'll have whatever Caleb's having. I guess there is worse things than mimicking his older brother. Yeah. Yeah, way worse. He has started to mimic Caleb at every meal. I'll have whatever Caleb's having. I'll do whatever. And sometimes he'll forget to do that, and we'll put him on the spot and say, What do you want? And he'll go, I don't know, whatever Caleb's doing. It's cute. Look at that beautiful cheese bread. I'm trying the pesto sauce tonight, it's really good. All right, you can see I already took a piece. That's how I know it's good. Would you like some? Yes. No. Yes. Fine, we'll share. Fine, fine. Jeez. I don't them. Jeez, all these kids, so entitled. They think they deserve a little piece of bread. It's just a joke. Okay, we're going through the car wash. We are. The car needs it. The car needs it so bad, guys. So bad. It's happening. Deal with it. No. Why? That one was little. Oh man, I loved it. I thought it was the funnest thing in the world. It's awesome! What's the to love about this? Thanks for watching, Zoo Family. We hope you enjoyed the old memories and the new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we will see you tomorrow.